Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the comparatif and the superlatif. And what this is, is this is a way to describe um, things in relation to each other. So let's say I'm going to say big, bigger, biggest, small, smaller, smallest. Um, so what we see is basically a line of, um, of how much or how little you are of that quality. Um, so the example I have of here is, let's say I'm, I'm looking at Luke and I'm trying to say that Luke here is, he is the least intelligent of his friends. Then I have Luke is less intelligent. Then I have Luke is intelligent. Luke is as intelligent as his friends. Then I have Luke is more intelligent. And then I have Luke is the most intelligent. So it's basically just a gradation of how smart Luke is. Um, and so what happens is, generally speaking, um, the French words and the English words typically go in the same order. So if, let's say, English, you say, like, um, Luke is big. It's just in French, Luke est grand. Um, if I want to say Luke is less big, Luke est moins grand, goes in the same order. Um, for us, where it gets a little bit trickier is, um, in English, we have some words where we just add on ER, so like big and then bigger. Um, but I can't say, like, um, I don't know, I'm actually having a hard time thinking of an example. Pink and then pinker, like, or red, well, red or, I don't know. So you're just going to say, like, more red or more pink or more blue. Um, so sometimes it works to add on ER, and then sometimes you just have to say more and then actually qualify what it is that they're more. In French, it's always you say the word more, um, and so you can't say, like, bigger in French and then add on more at the end. It actually literally is just more big, plus grand, or um, more small, plus petit, that kind of thing. So um, here we have, if I'm going to say Luke is the least intelligent of his friends, it really is in the same order. Like Luke is the least, Luc est le moins, and then intelligent, intelligent, goes in there. Um, where we run into a, a trap with this, and it kind of works for the same, whether it's masculine singular, feminine singular, masculine plural, feminine plural. The predicament that we have is that um, we have to use the word the. So I'm going to say Luke is the least intelligent. The word the has to agree um, with Luke. So because Luke is a single boy, we're just, well, not single, whatever. <laughs> we're just going to, it has to be le. Next one, we're going to talk about la. She's a girl, so because she's the girl, um, she's, you know, singular, she's feminine, we're just going to go la. So here we have Luke est le moins intelligent. Luke is the least intelligent. So Luke and le have to agree with each other. Um, in this case, Laure being a girl, Luc is, Laure is the least intelligent, Laure est la moins intelligente. What is the difference between the top one and the bottom one is that because now we're talking about a girl, we also then have to add an E onto an intelligent. We have to qualify uh, the, the word intelligent. Um, the next thing is, let's say now we're saying that Luc and Marc are also the least intelligent, then we have to have les, because they're two boys, so instead of just being le, because it's masculine, now we have to be les, because it's plural. And then because they're also plural and it, we're using the word intelligent, we have to have an S on the end of intelligent. So we're really going to say Luc et Marc sont les moins intelligents. They are the least intelligent. Um, and then to even further complicate things, the minute we have two girls, same sort of thing. We have les because they're, they're female, they're plural, so we just use les. Um, but because they're girls, we have to add an E and an S onto the end, end of intelligent. So for us, this concept really is building on your adjectives. And so if you at, at all are struggling with your adjectives, you, you need to master that before you can go on and do this concept because this concept is really just um, just the extremities of adjectives. So like big, now we have bigger, biggest, not as big, that kind of stuff. But if you don't even understand how to make big work in a sentence, then we have a problem. You have to go back and start with that, okay? Um, then we kind of move on. The nice thing is that if you, again, look at this whole line, this whole gradient here, um, we only have the le and the la at the polar opposites, okay? Because either we have the least or the most of something, and then everything in between is just kind of like a comparison or a statement. So we really only have to worry about like le, la, le um, on the outsides. But what we do have to worry about, no matter where we are in here, is that if you're a girl, you have to make sure that the adjective matches the girl. Um, and then if it's plural, that the, the number matches the number of people that you're speaking about. Um, so um, let's just go one at a time. Now let's just look at the, the Law, we're going to look at the female singular example and then we'll carry on. So here I'm saying law is the least intelligent. Law est la moins intelligent. So word by word, it's quite nice. It goes in order. Now I'm just saying law is less intelligent or she's not as intelligent as her friends. And it really is in the same order. Like law, law, a, is, moins, less, intelligent, intelligent. Okay, so that nice, nice thing goes in order. This is now I'm just saying a fact. Law est intelligent. So law is intelligent like her friends. Nice, it goes in the exact same order. Now I'm trying to say that she is as intelligent as, which for us, what's really frustrating is that in English we have as and as, and in French they have two words. They have OC and que. And you're thinking, like, this is stupid. And yes, it is. It is very stupid. It should just be one word. Um, but what they have is la est aussi intelligente que ses amis. La is as intelligent as her friends. 
So with that one, the order is still the same. It's just frustrating because now the word as, there's two different words for as, whereas in English, we just have the one. So, ah, oh, so much work. Now we're gonna have, uh, Laure is more intelligent. And again, we wanna like, it would be great if we could just say she's intelligent her and then leave it as that, uh, but we can't do that. Um, really truly, it looks like we're saying Laure is plus intelligent. Like Laure est plus intelligent. So in this case, the word plus just means more, but for us, you're like, ooh, that looks like an English word plus, but it's, which is still more, but it's confusing. So Laure est plus intelligent. And again, because she's a girl, we have to add the E onto the end. And then finally, we're gonna say Laure is the most intelligent because she is the most intelligent. We have to have, the, we have enough, have, to have an equivalent for the, for the word the. So it's la. So truly it's now Laure est la plus intelligent. So it's like literally Laure is the plus or the most intelligent is really how it's gonna look. So this on its own is actually not too problematic. For us, what is a bit of a problem is, sorry, let me just, there's just so much information. Walking dead, okay, so. <laughs> When we are comparing nouns and verbs, this is where things kind of break down because even in English, um, our own grammar skills break down when we're speaking. And we say things like, oh, you sing so good. You eat so good. You walk so good. And really, we should be using the word well. Um, and I guess the unfortunate thing is, is the language is, I mean, call it evolving, call it just, you know, collapsing. Who cares? But we're almost to the point where people don't even necessarily notice that they're making a mistake anymore because it just, it's just part of now our spoken language. Um, incorrect or not, it's, it's kind of now there. Um, and so it makes it then really hard for us to then make sure it's correct in French if we don't even have a really good grasp of it in English where we're starting. Um, so here's the thing is that when we're comparing nouns, for example, and I'm just gonna go box at a time. The other thing, sorry, is that because it's an adjective, if you're trying to say like, for example, I am good, it's frustrating because as you can see here, we have four words for, for good. Um, sorry, not four words. It's still, does, it's still the word bon, but then we have to qualify it. So if it's masculine singular, it's just B-O-N. But the minute it's feminine singular and you want to make it match with a girl, like she is good, then the problem is that it becomes bon, B-O-N-N-E. And so right away you're like, I just want to use bon, B-O-N. But the French are like, no, 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 you have to make your adjective match whatever it is that the adjective is describing. And in this case, it's the girl, so that just makes it a little bit more complicated. Um, and again, if let's say you're describing good boys, and because they're boys, you're going to put an S on the end, so it becomes bon. Um, and then if you're describing good girls, it's bun with a B O N and E S at the end um, because they're feminine plural. So again, right away, you're like, I just want to say good. Why do I have to have four different ways of doing this? Um, now, let's say again, you're still comparing nouns, and you're trying to just say, I am better um, than Joe. So je suis meilleur que Joe. So again, here we have the word meilleur. One of the ways that I try and help students remember this is think of like John Mayer. He's the best, good singer, whatever. Um, so if you think of like Mayer, um, if it's a girl, again, we add on an E. If it's plural, we add on an S. So again, we just, you're, you're just like, I just want to say best. Why are there four options here? Because again, in French, everything has to agree in gender. In English, we're just like, the best. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to even know who's best. You just know someone is number one. <laughs> but the French are like, is it a boy that's number one? Who's number one? Um, now we're actually saying, so instead of even just like, so I am good, I am better, I am the best, I am number one, there's no one better than me. Um, so this is where, because now we have the word the, the word the also has to agree. So not only the word meilleur has to agree, the, now the word the has to agree. And it's kind of silly because when you look here, the word better, better is meilleur, and the word the best, we just have le meilleur. So literally, as an English speaker, you're looking at this thinking, that just means I am the better. And you'd be correct because that's what it looks like in English. In French, they uh, they understand it as meaning the best, but as English speakers, we're like the better. And yes, you're correct, but just translate it back as the best. Um, so again, if it's masculine singular, it's going to be le. If it's feminine, it's going to be la. If it's plural, it's going to be les. So a little bit confusing. When we're comparing verbs, it's a little bit better. So let's say, for example, you're trying to say, I swim well. And now instead of just qualifying who you are, you're trying to qualify what you do. So the minute it's a verb, um, we have to use an adverb. And that's for us the dilemma is that these are adjectives and this is an adverb, which is kind of nice because generally speaking, our adverbs don't have to agree um, with, with who it is that we're speaking about, So, which is kind of nice. So if you're trying to say, I swim well, it's just, je nage bien, I eat well, je mange bien, I sing well, je chante bien, I, sing, I dance well, je danse bien. Um, so now you're trying to say, so I swim well, but now you're saying, I swim better. So you're saying, I swim better than John. I don't know, it doesn't matter. So you can use the word mieux. Je nage mieux que John. Um, je mange mieux que Jean. Je chante mieux que Jean. Okay? So it's just use the word mieux. Um, now you're trying to say, um, I swim well, and but now actually the idea is like, I swim the best. So you are the best action, not just the best person. Your action is the best. Um, then now again, we have to, it's kind of tricky. Le mieux, la mieux, la mieux, les mieux. We always have to make it match. 
masculine, feminine, plural. It's a little bit complicated there. Now, when we look at the opposite instead of the best, now the other end of the scale is now it's like the worst. Kind of tricky because again, it's still, we have to worry about masculine, feminine, and plural. So we always just, again, if it's a girl, add on an E. If it's plural, add on an S. So again, let's say I am bad, je suis mauvais. Maybe you're a girl, I am bad, je suis mauvaise. Okay? Um, and again, so we have bad, worse, worst is kind of our gradient here. So um, now the word worse, we actually have two options, which is kind of interesting. So you kind of pick, I guess, the one that you can remember best or is easier to spell, who cares? Um, so for example, the word pire, um, the nice thing is that um, pire is the same between masculine and feminine. So you might like that one better because you don't have to be like, do I add an E or not? It's just, it's the same for both. Um, but if it's plural, we have to add on an S. So that kind of complicates things a little bit. Um, and then now you're trying to say, and actually the same thing works for mauvais. It's, it's the same idea, but again, you still have masculine, feminine, plural, plural forms. And now you're trying to say, like, I am the worst. I am the worst. Um, and sorry, and just to remind you, we're still comparing now. So maybe when it comes to um, who is tall, let's just say an, an adjective, I am the worst at being tall. Then you would say, je suis la pire. Well, if I'm, I'm a girl, I can say, je suis la pire. If you're a boy, je suis le pire. Maybe there's a whole group of us, and we're all terrible at being tall. Nous sommes les pires. Okay. Um, so, and then finally, if we're comparing verbs, and you're trying to say, so now we have like, poorly, and then worse, and then the worst. So now you're just trying to say, I swim poorly, or I sing poorly, or I dance poorly. Just mal, which on its own, mal means bad. So again, you're like, ah, no wonder it's so confusing. It's, it's a little frustrating. Um, but now we're just trying to say worse. Literally, you're basically saying plus bad, or like more bad, which is in better English, it means worse. So if I'm going to say, I swim worse than Joe, it's going to say, je nage plus mal que Joe. And then finally, if you're comparing, again, verbs, and you're trying to say, I swim the worst, again, you're not saying, I am the worst swimmer, you're not qualifying who you are as a swimmer, now you're qualifying your action, your actual swimming, you're saying, my swimming itself is the worst, not me, just my swimming. <laughs> then you're going to say, um, I swim the worst, je nage le plus mal. So I hope this helps, it's kind of tricky, but again, this, this page here, this really confusing page, is only when it comes to good, better, best, worse, worse, um, bad, or say bad, worse, and worst. So, but again, let's just go back up to the very, very top. Looks like I'm petting my whiteboard. This is a little silly. So, um, <laughs> keep in mind again, um, generally speaking, when you go from, um, from the left to the right, the minute you have to have, like, I'm number one, whether I'm, like, number one at, at the best thing or number one at the worst thing, you're going to have to have the, the word the, Make that match. So if it's a masculine thing, you're going to have la. If it's feminine, it's going to have la. If it's plural, it's le. The minute your adjective has to match with your noun. So again, if you're a girl, you're always going to be adding an e. You're being careful of what you have to do to your adjective to make it feminine. Um, and if you're plural, you definitely have to make it plural somehow, whether you add an s or an x or however it is that adjective changes. Um, and then um, make sure also, I forgot to mention this too, make sure your verb changes as well. So here we have like Luke is the least intelligent. You can't have like Luke and Mark is the least intelligent. You have to change is as well to are. So what I would probably do if I were you is just try and copy this idea a million times until it sinks in and you're like, I know this pattern. Um, but again, that's the idea of comparative and superlative is it's just basically you're taking adjectives and instead of just like the cat is brown, you're like, this is the brownest cat in the world. This cat is more brown than that cat. This cat is less brown than that cat. It's just comparing things. So hope that helps.